four-handed one-two PLO on WSOP. Uh, this was from a few, two or three days ago. So getting right off the bat here with double suited kings. I three bet. Easy peasy three bet. Yep. Uh, I actually, first off, I don't mind their sizing off of 50 bigs. You you want to size, like I usually use like a 2.7 off 50, but you get to you get to play smaller sizings in your opening range uh, okay. once you have a less than 100 big blind stack. So that's okay. first thing off the bat that I noticed. Their min race actually isn't very bad. Um, we have a very pretty hand. You will three bet that every time. Overcall and Aloha is going to call every single time, I'm assuming. Yep. So we find the ace high flop. And uh, from your launch pad course, I've heard that we always see bet ace high flops when we're the three better. Correct? or? Yes, in heads up pots. Heads up pots. Okay. Yeah, in, in heads up pots. Okay. In, in multi-way pots, we don't get to do it at 100% frequency. Because if we have two kings in our hand and we have two callers, the probability of one of them having an ace is very, very high. Okay. So even though we have a range advantage in against both players, because we're up against two ranges, it, uh, we're not just one range versus one range. We're one range versus two ranges now. Okay. And in order to take a seabed against two ranges, generally speaking, you need more oomph. And that just isn't going to exist, especially when you don't have an ace in your hand. Okay. Um, what about the fact that we have a five and two backdoor flush draws here? Still just play it as a check? So this particular combination is very close. I probably, if we're deeper, would be comfortable taking a C bet, but we're, we're going up against a 45 big blind stack. Hmm. Like the, the, the relevance of the five and the two backdoor flush draws is to be able to barrel over multiple streets and be able to generate folds. But sure. at shorter stack depths, you just need to be more, you need to be more focused on your immediate equity. And so, whereas in a hundred big blind or even two hundred big blind scenario, th these would be really good cards to have. In this spot, at the shallower stack depth, especially multi ways, we just care about having the best hand. Okay, uh, I don't remember what happens in these. This was like a few days ago, and I've when you play like two sessions in between the the third one back, it's like all mm -hmm. this. I have no I have no idea what happens anymore. Yeah. So let's see what I did. Yeah, Chad, okay. just so you know. Andrew doesn't. Andrew doesn't know. And also, I have never seen this before. Just to give all of you context, <laughs> you're you're watching it live with me for the first time, and pretty much Andrew live for the first time. Let's okay. comment on the sizing. So, in multi weight, so this would be the appropriate sizing on a dry unpaired board in a heads up pot. Multi ways, generally speaking, especially out of position on these more dry board textures, we have to play a smaller sizing. I played bet thirty three in this spot in a multi way scenario. And it's because we, if we are betting, that means we have such a strong range that we actually want to incentivize our opponents to continue. If we're out of position to two players and we're allowed to bet, that means that we have to have a very strong range, which means that it's actually good for our opponents to continue against us. And whenever that's the case, we want to use a smaller sizing. Um, this sizing, what it'll do generally, and especially against two players, is it'll, it'll allow them both to fold the appropriate amount of time, which is not what we want. Okay, so like another spot would be to, like... You could size up on... There you go. Yeah, you go. Uh, another spot would be like, say we have like top set plus like the nut flush draw or something. So we'd, we'd use another like small sizing. We would ch we would check. We would okay. check. Because So that's that's another general thing PLO. When you have too much of it, mm. let's say that you have ace-king on ace-ace-king and a multi-way board. And it's rainbow, like no flush draw exists. Yeah. You have to be checking that at a pretty high. Munker plays checks at that spot because the availability of your opponent's calling range is so narrow because we block everything, right? Not only do we have the pure nuts, but there aren't enough combinations that are available for our opponents to continue with. So you have to allow your opponents to pick up some sort of perceived gain value on future streets, which means you have to check when you have literally everything. Okay. Okay, let's see what happens here. Hand number one, already fucked it up. Off to a good start. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's okay. PLO's hard for right. everybody. We win. 